Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is July 1st, 2024, and if you stick around or are returning to see this again, remember to like and subscribe to the video. If you don't, rabbit hamsters will take over the world. On to our first story. The place where freedom fries were first discovered in cave paintings. France. Kidding. They don't have caves there. Anyhow, just like so many places, they are hosting big national elections right now. Right now, the Nationalist Populist National Rally is winning, that's a mouthful, with the current Prime Minister's party trailing in third place. For those keeping score, that's Macron, the president of France, with his centrist party that's kind of losing. The main thing to take away from this is a little bit on how France's parliamentary system works. There are 577 seats up for grabs, and those candidates who don't win by a majority move on to a second election, assuming they have at least 12.5% of the votes. In that second round, whoever gets the most wins uh, goes on to be the candidate. Also, if the national rally has the top spot, the prime minister will come from their party, even though Macron will remain president at least until 2027. Whew, that's a lot to keep track of. Now, why is this important? Inflation and immigration have become two hot topics in France, and this far right-wing party capitalized on that. We'd call it center due to its history of racist rhetoric having been cleaned up by the current leaders. In times of dire needs economically, many countries turn towards a person who says with confidence that it's those people's fault over there, not that we need to do more or work harder or be better. We're all to be, you know, able to blame them, but we're also keeping what makes us good and moral by doing so. It's really hard to sit with people and tell them, hey, you actually need to work harder when they already work hard already, perhaps. And instead, they just want an easy fix. They assume there is an easy fix. Anyhow, over the past many years since the pandemic, this far-right party has really bolstered its image and gained in popularity. And they're set to have a majority, essentially, by the end of this next weekend. Hurricane Barrel is twirling about in the news a bunch. Why? Because for the first hurricane in the season, it's already really big. A Category 4 hurricane, and it went from a mere tropical storm to Cat 4 in under two days, and taking home the gold for the earliest hurricane in the season that way. That's at least in recorded history. Scientists, if you believe them, are saying the historically record high temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean are the cause of the devastating hurricane. But... Who believes in scientists anymore? Speaking of not understanding or believing in facts, Trump sort of wins his presidential immunity case at the U.S. Supreme Court. Hold on, though. It's not all roses and sunshine for Trump. He's been getting out of a lot of issues recently, almost as if he has a history of breaking the law, lying about it, trying to cover it up, fumbling that cover-up, and then getting away with it nonetheless over the course of decades. What does the Supreme Court ruling say today? Well, it basically says, if an act taken by the president is within Article 2 under the explicit powers granted by the to the president by the Constitution, like the veto power, assigning certain positions, etc., there's a handful of them really only, then that president has absolute immunity from criminal liability and previously civil liability, which everyone agreed upon. Meaning, no matter what the law might break, it doesn't, okay? The second part of the ruling was, if the action can be construed as an official act, well, it's got presumptive immunity, and it would be up to a prosecutor to prove that it wasn't, essentially, an official act. And that's actually kind of tough, especially when it's not considered a crime to, say, have your political rival murdered by SEAL Team 6. Since you are the commander-in-chief, you could order it, and the Supreme Court's ruling would require, first and foremost, that it be proven it wasn't an official act, not that you had any personal motives, not that you were doing it just because you didn't like the rival, but simply not an act that can be construed as official. And then, last grouping, thankfully, there's still one that gets no immunity, personal actions, fully unofficial actions, they're just not protected. The good for Trump is that all of this is delaying his inevitable trial, and likely won't even be close to seeing a resolution even if it gets to trial before he potentially wins the presidency again. Which, if he does, it's moot anyways. Because he'll either pardon himself or right before the end of his presidency resign and have his VP do it. Either way, if he gets into office, 
He'll have gotten away with creating a fake set of electors, falsifying certificates to have them pretend to be official, and attempting to get his VP in the Congress to certify those fake electors against the will of tens of millions of people who went out and voted. Yep, that's now, in no stretch of the imagination, almost certainly legal. And now on to other illegal things that happen regularly in the United States. What mass shootings happened over the weekend? On June 29th, in Sylvania, Georgia, six people were injured when another individual opened up on a block party. Not a lot of information otherwise. That's the only one. And let's end on a controversial topic. The pogo ball was a far superior toy than the pogo stick. A pogo stick was easy to use, had minimal tricks you could perform, and quite frankly, was your grandparents' version of the NES. The pogo ball took power, perseverance, and with that came the amazing tricks you could perform. I remember hopping on one of these bad boys down four blocks to my local 7-Eleven, getting some snacks, and hopping all the way back home. I didn't need snow or a hill both ways to prove I was a badass kid. I've put the link to the commercial below. Check it out, find one, fall in love all over again.